hey you guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks hey y'all um welcome or welcome back to another vlog <sighs> okay so today is actually saturday meaning we got some errands to do so i'm not going to be sitting here chatting with y'all too too long because we got things to do baby so i need to take my recyclables there's a big box full of things that need to be recycled here I need to run a Sally's, girl. <laughs> I need to run a Sally's. I want to get a new plant. Um, the Wine and Spirit store. Like we just got some things to do, okay? And I just want to get it done quick. Um, you know, you know. So I just have on just you know a cute little pair of leggings and a little t-shirt. I'm gonna pop my little popper coat over it. Throw my Uggs on. We gonna keep it pushing, okay? But. First things first, if you're new around here, hey, my name is Nink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book, beauty content, all those things, all of the things, okay? Um, so if you're interested in any of those things, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Join our Kiku fam. We love, we would love to have you, okay? Definitely go ahead and do that. But before I head out, I wanted to show you guys, I got a late birthday gift. And I actually had it the day I went to the Drake concert. I did go to the Drake concert, Drake and J. Cole. That was a part of my last vlog, so I will link that up above if you missed it. Because that was a really good vlog. Very interesting. Okay? Um, but yeah, so I got a late birthday gift. So I just wanted to pop on and show you guys what I got. So shout out to my sister. <laughs> So yeah y'all, I love the little hodgepodge type gifts that my sister has been doing lately um, cause those are all things that I know and love. Y'all know I'm a candle girl and I have never seen candles that look like um, little like pop cans, pop, soda, chat, depends on where you're from. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to head out. I did finish that book, Having an Earth Grocery Store, child. I need to give y'all a review on that because, spoiler alert, not a fan. Mm -mm. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to throw my stuff on and we're about to head out and I'm going to get some footage today. And I mean. Okay, y'all. So, first of all, new area for me to vlog unlocked because I love this. Y'all can see my little candles in the back. And my hair shelf is literally over here. Um, so, these are my overflow hair products. I know. But we're actually filming right in front of my big window in my living room. And the, the natural lighting is here, honey, okay? And let me just say, today was such a much-needed day for me. Y'all know I work from home, so I don't get out a whole, whole lot. Last week in chill, I mean, when I tell y'all I was outside, I was outside, okay? And the sun is finally setting a little bit later. And let me tell y'all, seasonal depression is a real thing. Because, baby, I've been locked in here like Rapunzel. And I don't, mm -mm, it is not good for my mental health. So, yesterday was a bit of a hard day for me. Full transparency. Yesterday was a hard day for me. My phone was on D&D. &D. I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> wrap it up. Because I don't like to transfer like negative energy to you guys. Um, and you guys, a lot of you guys watch me for like entertainment. And y'all don't need to see me, you know, down. Okay, so I like to be honest with you guys. But there's sometimes where it's like, girl, don't pick up that camera. <laughs> don't pick up that camera, girl. So even though today I really just ran errands and did things that just needed to be done, it was just good to be outside, okay? It was just good to be outside. So with that being said, I went ahead and bought a new plant, baby, and I am so freaking excited. So y'all, I will give my mom props again. So this is Javi Oliver, okay? My mom picked Javi, which I feel like he's a Javi for real. He's a hobby, and then Oliver is my granddad's name, and I love my granddaddy. So, Javi Oliver is my man's name. Love him so much. He's so stinking cute. I cannot. So, I'm about to repot, like, all of my plants because um, Angel Baby, which is my 
most recent plant let me go grab her so this is angel pearl i think i bought her back in january december january i think and y'all she was so so little and now this is what she looks like and she is definitely growing and i think she's outgrowing this pot so i'm gonna go ahead and probably put her in the pink pot i got from walmart it's actually right here right there so this is the pink pot so i don't know if i'm gonna put her in here or if i'll put hobby in here hobby's a boy so i feel like he shouldn't go in a pink pot i don't know chad <laughs> i'll be gendering my plants be so for real but yeah y'all so i did get a new plant um for me i just love listen i have quickly became a plant mom this is plant number five and oscar fernando which is my plant that died or be my son okay but i really do think he had like some root rot or something i picked him up from sam's club and from what i'm hearing it's not good to buy him from like sam's club costco all of the things but anyway y'all while i was out doing my errands and stuff yeah let's just say i always end up doing stuff i don't need to be doing okay so i did tell you guys that i was going to go to sally so we'll start with sally's so sally's was doing buy two get one free on the just for me products and y'all know if nothing else i stand this just for me pre poo it is one of my all-time favorite natural hair products and i no longer just buy them individually i have to buy them by the two so i went ahead and got these two but also y'all i picked up their rinse out conditioner this is their rinse out hopefully my camera is focusing and honestly i picked out their rinse out y'all know i'm a rinse out girl i know a lot of people aren't you know really big into rinse outs but i personally like a rinse out so since i like the pre poos so much i went ahead and picked up the rinse out since it was about to get one free anyway um i just wanted to pick this up to see what exactly it was going to hit for there is dimethicone towards the end of this product which i didn't really notice to be honest with y'all but it's really like towards the bottom bottom of the list so i'm really excited to see what this is going to hit for because these have so much slip i'm very curious to see what the conditioner is going to do so after i went to sally's i went to go get my new plant harvey i did um get you guys a little bit of footage and let me tell y'all i still am getting used to filming in public it can be so awkward because like people just be looking at you chad and then i took my recyclables which i also got a little bit of it girl i told y'all i was gonna be doing better so i'm proud of myself i linked up with my mom real quick and then y'all i went to king's <laughs> because baby i had eight it was like three o'clock and i had eight and on the way home i just stopped at home goods and i got a couple things so. so if you know home goods is really just house stuff it's like the tj maxx and marshall's at home stuff even though like tj maxx and marshall's have home stuff this is a, a like that is basically just house stuff in there and i get a lot of cute little knickknacks and random stuff so i got these um bath mats and i actually have been wanting to like change my bath mats around and stuff um because i don't feel like they last forever so i went ahead and picked up these this is just a gray one and for the two of them it was 20 dollars. so i'm not mad and then y'all if you know you know i'm just a big 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 candle girl so y'all saw that my sister also got me the candles for my birthday but then child i went into home goods and i was like oh i got a hattie okay so i picked up this one this is from the brand patty wax which i've never tried before but just look how cute this little candle is it's so so cute this is bamboo green tea and melon or is it just green tea and melon it says bamboo green tea and melon and it's 13.5 ounces so that's what the candle looks like and this one was actually on clearance for six dollars and fifty cents hopefully y'all can see that but i've never had a candle sit like this it's really really cute um did i need it no but it smells good so and it was six dollars like girl come on and then y'all why i get this candle the size of my head so the next candle I got is this vanilla mango and it is 25.4 ounces I think and this was $20. So this is one of, uh, one of my favorite candle brands. This DW Home, don't play with them. Don't play with them. They're in TJ Maxx, they're in Marshalls, they're in Home Goods. I have never seen the vanilla mango scent. I did pick up a, this size in, what is it, clean linen? I have it back there and I bought it maybe a year, year and a half ago and child, it's not even halfway. 
and i like these candles from dw home they burn easy like it's not too much with them let me tell y'all something the vanilla mango and um i don't think i told y'all but this was 20 dollars. so did i really go in to buy a 20 dollar cam candle no but it smells so so good <laughs> it smells so good so yeah y'all that's what i got on my little running errands thing today so i think that's honestly all i'm going to do today i need to do some cleaning just around the house nothing too crazy like i said i want to do my bathroom change my sheets all of the things i don't even think i'm gonna record all of that honestly i'm just about to put my headphones on and get to work but yeah i am going to put my products last vlog my girl kia curls with kia and she sent me a whole package full of products that's my girl okay um so i will post that stuff there i've been kiki with my other girl dr my curls and she told me to read queenie which i know that somebody else told me to read queenie too also child all my girlfriends friends are coming up okay deja from urban fed curls she read queenie as well and i think she said it took her a while to finish that but i think she said she did like it so i don't know i do have my next book my next book picked out but you know it's always subject to change it's always subject to change so y'all i'm just sitting here yip yapping let me go ahead and clean up my house okay little do y'all know my house is just about clean clean y'all know when y'all click on my vlogs i'm not one of the aesthetic youtubers that just has a very pristine and everything type of house that's not me okay i work a nine to five and then i work a five to nine which is content creation okay so i, I don't have time to sit here and play me me to me okay <laughs> i just don't y'all let me get off this camera and light this vanilla mango candle and get to work child i actually forgot that i got a little present in the mail from one of my subbies so shout out to sherry thank you girl i really 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 appreciate it let me tell y'all me and her dm like all the time about products and otherwise child um and she went ahead and sent me the mango and tulsi by my L, the my L mango and Tulsi nourishing styling gel and she said she really does enjoy this gel and I'm actually really really excited to try it because she has raved about it so much she knows I'm a gel girl she also likes their mousse from this collection as well but I have their leave-in so I'm definitely excited to go ahead and try this hopefully soon hopefully soon Chad I'm sharing for the one time Hit your boomin' and want some more, nigga. Going to the driller, bust the AP, yeah. Slide on the water like a jet ski, yeah. I'm tryna fuck you on your bestie, yeah. Chop up with this girl, so do not test me, yeah. Rick flood, drip, go woo on a bitch. Hey y'all, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the little snippets I was able to get you um with me blow drying my hair and everything. Let me take these glasses off. I hope that you guys enjoyed the snippets I got for you guys blow drying my hair. And let me tell y'all, do y'all see the shine? like get into it get into it i actually have to say i really do understand the hype with that olaplex oil i love that shea moisture spray leave-in y'all have seen me use that for years at this point it's like one of my most repurchased products ever but that olaplex oil just added a little razzle dazzle that i didn't expect so i can definitely see me um getting a full size doing like the vib sale because i'm not paying full price for it but i will get the oil i do really really like the oil i have a k18 oil as well that i want to use on my thinning edges child i'm gonna talk about that in a video i'm filming to style my hair because i'm gonna do like a um a blown out twist out y'all know i don't do twist outs too much on like my curly hair i just don't like the way it looks but i think with blown out hair it will perform better but i'm going off on a tangent i actually came on here to give you guys a quick book review obviously because we're in front of the big body bins the bookshelf so this is the heaven and earth grocery store by james mcbride and y'all mm -mm. i was not a fan of this book at all i low-key was peer pressure into getting this book every time i would go to like barnes and noble or target or you know online it just is everywhere and it was barnes and noble's 2023 book of the year and i was like you know what this is written by a black man that's one of the things that i've noticed on my shelf is i read a lot of black authors but i don't have a whole whole lot from like black men so i was like let me go ahead and pick this up and see what this is talking about okay in the jacket sleeve it talks about like a murder that takes place in it's a very small town the book takes place in 1920 so it's a segregated area 
um black and jewish people are in one area the white people are down in another um and they talk about a boy who ends up getting sent to a mental hospital and honestly that's like it from the jacket sleeve but i thought this was gonna be like a little murder mystery it wasn't print so this book actually um the book focuses on a boy going to that mental um hospital and basically them trying to get him out there's a situation that happens that leads him to get there that he wrongfully ends up in this in this mental hospital okay there's a lot of stuff in between there but basically that's the main story of the book but there's some other sub things that happen the murder that they're talking about in the end is literally the last 50 pages and that really ticked me off because I felt like that was what the book was about but not really like I don't know and it was like mistaken identity it wasn't even like it wasn't even like that like that you know what I'm saying so honestly I was really disappointed by this book the book was so long like I've read plenty of other books that push 400 pages, but this book felt excruciatingly long. Like it was so many characters and so much description and it felt like we got so many stories that we didn't even necessarily need that didn't really contribute to the story. So I just felt like a lot of it was filler. Like I was talking to some people on TikTok about the book. I had posted just like a random update. So if you are also into books and stuff, definitely go follow me on TikTok because I do a lot of random quick updates over there. Whereas YouTube, y'all know my vlogs, I film like a week or two, sometimes a month chat. I'm trying to catch up. In a, <laughs> but in advance, more of the story. So um, she said she had skipped like 100 pages and felt like she didn't miss nothing because she didn't. The interesting part of the book, there was a chapter called 12. That was a really good chapter. Um, that was pretty early on in the book. And then the last 80 pages is where I feel like the story really like started to like come together. But since it was the last 80 pages of a 380 page book, I felt like the ending was rushed when we could have been talking about this long before. So more to the story, I rated the book 2.5 stars. I'm not a fan. I won't be keeping this book. It wasn't a good book for me. Um, I'm not really sure what all the hype is about. Me and my mom were actually reading this one together. I read it a lot faster than my mom. And my mom is like, girl, I don't even know if I want to finish because she's having a hard time getting past where she's at in the book because she's bored as well. So I'm not really sure what all the hype is with this book, but let me know if you've read it because I'm curious because I don't think this is a great book and it gave white savior and I it, it was like Miss Chana seemed like a wonderful woman, but I don't, I don't like the whole white savior thing and the book came off to me like, oh, these people just wouldn't have survived without Miss Chana and I'm I'm not a fan okay let's not let's not do that okay but um yeah 2.5 stars definitely a very very disappointing read considering how much hype there was but you know so <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to go ahead and season up my salmon I'm gonna make some salmon and rice and a vegetable for dinner today you know it's about to be March the day I'm filming this today is February 25th so you know I gotta prep this summer body okay so we're eating healthy and lean today I also started my cycle TMI so I'm not really in the mood for a whole lot of stuff that's why I've been in this hoodie all day which backfired blow dryer you're here in a hoodie like girl are you okay no i'm not <laughs> so i'm gonna go season up this salmon and then i am going to do my hair in like a chunky blown out twist out situation i may or may not be going to cleveland next weekend i'm not sure um but anyway i have some things that i want to film and of course it's always that edit bonus when my hair looks cute so that's what i'm gonna do i'm using the trees of tresses hibiscus smoothie i think it's called a hibiscus smoothie but i'm using it as a styler today obviously so yeah that's what i'm getting ready to do and then clean up i'm about to watch the wendy williams documentary while i do my hair so if you've seen it let me know let's chat down below it's so sad the way um all of this is playing out but you know like i said talk to me down below because who we but yeah y'all so let me shut my mouth because i'm just over here yapping 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 and go do what i need to do <laughs> Chat. 
child i'm trying not to step in dirt but as you guys saw in the vlog earlier i did get a new plant and look at him he is so freaking cute um this is actually number five i lost the soldier chair but um this is number five so i'm not sure what type of plant it is to be honest with you uh, <laughs> i don't remember the actual like different types of plants and stuff but his name is Javi Javi Oliver so yeah I had to hop on to show you guys the new plant baby and give him a full introduction because this is my son hey y'all so today is now Saturday and I'm actually about to do hold on okay this is probably a little bit better but I'm actually about to do a quick little impromptu trip to um cleveland to go visit my aunt we've been wanting to try this restaurant and the place is finally open and so we're going to link up so i'm actually on my way to go get my wax done now and then i'm just going to leave from then um when i go get my wax it's only like 15 minutes it's nothing too crazy if y'all listen i have so many tips and tea about getting waxed um but yeah so i tried a new little lippy combo today and i'm not sure how i feel about it um let me know down below Mm -hmm. I don't know but this is the look of the day my hair I did a blown out twist out with trees of trusses hibiscus hair smoothie um and this is how it turned out it's not my favorite this really isn't what I was going for at all but you know we move anyway tomorrow is wash day so yeah y'all I'm literally about to go get my wax done real quick I'm about to hop in a car I'm gonna stop at Duncan to go get some coffee for my road trip and then we're gonna head to Cleveland okay y'all so chat i don't know why i'm in this uh position but you know we we move anyway um i just finished getting my wax done and it literally takes all of like 15 minutes so i highly 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 i don't know what this pop up on my screen is but i highly recommend okay highly recommend um i will say those first couple waxes baby hurt hurts i know the girls be using like numbing cream and stuff i just go in and just do it so that they could get as most as much as possible you hear me <laughs> um but yeah highly recommend i'm a wax girl um yeah but it definitely i've been getting waxes consistently for at least a year a year and a half at this point that's a win for me but getting my wax is like a monthly bill at this point i'm not missing not name one wax okay hey you guys i made it back home today is sunday um i actually drove back home yesterday i'm just all dressed and stuff because i actually went to go grab some breakfast and to do a quick few little errands so yesterday y'all we went to this like k-pot place and basically it's one of those places where you're cooking your own food highly do not recommend highly do not recommend both of us were very um not happy about it so um basically you get there our server didn't really first of all he didn't like nothing on the menu <laughs> hello um he didn't like nothing on the menu he didn't know how to cook certain things so maybe we would have had a different experience if we had a better server i don't know but it also felt overpriced like we paid 50 dollars. it was all you can eat but we paid fifty dollars um we also each got a drink so we paid fifty dollars um about fifty dollars i guess we paid about fifty dollars each um we had to cook our own food and the drink wasn't even like good like my drink tastes like juice for real for real like there wasn't no lick in there hers got a little stronger towards the bottom but yeah wouldn't go back wouldn't recommend wasn't a fan so mm. and y'all that sucked because we were so excited to try that place like that was our second time our second attempt at going to the place and honestly i just wasn't wasn't impressed but other than that we honestly didn't do much <laughs> um we went to like marshall's and tj maxx and those didn't weren't here for nothing so we also went to sam's club so i re-upped on my poppy my case of poppy if you have a sam's club membership these are 20 dollars for the case and there's 12 there's 12 in the case so if you buy poppy individually you know that they're like 350 a can so going ahead and getting the $20 case 
um with 12 of them is like a steal it comes with strawberry lemon orange and cherry limeade which are all flavors that i like i do like the raspberry rose that's one that i also really really like so i may just have to buy some standalone ones of those but i um i like all of the flavors in this case so i'll continue to buy them because it's so reasonable also y'all know when i go to visit my aunt i never leave empty-handed so she gave me a few um clothing items that she wasn't really interested in and then she also gave me this vanilla bean from butter baby that's the vanilla bean she also put the little trial size one in here as well so i'm gonna pop this in my purse i think and then she also gave me the vanilla body butter from tree hut so y'all know i love butter baby she says some of the scents smell like powdery to her and that's why she's not always a fan of them but i okay <laughs> i love to benefit and then y'all i actually went to mcdonald's to go get some pancakes i love mcdonald's pancakes if you know you know but before that i actually did have to run the sally's so i got a five dollar coupon so now's the time for me to get the little random ins and outs that i need um if you've been watching my vlogs the last vlog i was looking for like a oil applicator that i had and i must have thrown it away so i just went ahead and picked this one up I picked up a little bit of perm rods, which I think these are a little expensive. These were $3.29 and there's, I don't know, 12 in here. But all of my rods are popping, so I had to go get some. I'm going to go check the hair store because I feel like they're cheap. They got to be cheaper at the hair store. And then last but not least, I just got this super, super cute little pick. Um, I've been using the same two picks. And I, they're the same pick, just one is in my purse and one is <laughs> in my bathroom i got them from the dollar store and these picks are strong they hold up i love those picks um but this one's just so cute i got this one because it's purple and sparkly and i just thought it was really cute um i need to go check the dollar store to make sure they still have those because just in case i, I need to always have a couple on hand so yeah y'all um i just wanted to hop on and say that real quick it's like pushing 11 o'clock i want to say um, which is definitely a late start for my wash day but since i was up traveling yesterday i'm kind of just taking today slow and i will just let my hair dry under the dryer by the end of the night so i'm probably just gonna chill here until like one maybe watch a movie or something while i eat my breakfast and then once my food has digested i'll go ahead and you know do the things and today's a shower filming day which if you know you know filming natural hair content but girl that in the shower so my whole bathroom be flooded like it's just a labor of love like i tell y'all all the time and i love the way the videos come out but it's like girl oh my god so i be having to like mentally prepare myself <laughs> mentally prepare myself to do that but um this blowout i had my hair in like twists with the trees of tresses for um like basically all week i took them out yesterday um and i don't like the way that my hair feels honestly like i don't know what that like coated feeling is um but i'm not a fan of that feeling that i have on my hair and i think it's also because i used it on dry hair i wouldn't use this product on dry hair again i wouldn't use it as a leave-in again maybe i'll try it on curly hair as like a wet styler i'm not sure i feel like i keep trying different ways to get this product to work and um i just haven't found the right right thing just yet guys so today is actually tuesday and my mom called me and she just randomly wanted me to do her hair so as you guys can see i still have on like pajamas we got on biker shorts girl and an old t-shirt so i have to throw on some clothes because she wants me to do her hair so we're gonna make it a whole filming day as well um my mom has like much tighter and um coilier hair than i have so i love to experiment and play around with different products and stuff on her since we have such different hair so i picked out some products for her um that we're gonna try today and i'm actually gonna try one and done on my girl um because you know that's not her really her thing but i think that this is gonna work out um just to take her out of her comfort zone a little bit but yeah so i did that i'm literally gonna be done with a book this weekend so hopefully by the time i finish out this vlog i will have given you guys a book review and then y'all my baby sister called and 
she always calls when she needs hair products so i have to get my girl right so let me show y'all what i got so first and foremost i have these um personalized shampoos i think it's from uh chair i don't even remember the brand anymore but these were the personalized shampoo and conditioner that i gave her i actually think i have an extra conditioner somewhere but these are the two that i'm going to give to her they're only eight ounces so i'm sure she'll fly through these i have this next of us um no damage detangler with coconut oil um sydney's hair is just um more like silkier she has a silkier hair texture than me or my mom so i think that this will work better for her sydney also isn't like ingredient friendly she really doesn't care this has a little bit of silicones in there and i think this will be good for her because she also uses heat a lot more than i do so and speaking of heat styling i also have this design essentials agave and lavender um it's a thermal protectant cream um, so I'm going to give this to her because again, I just don't use heat enough to actually finish this. I have two stylers for Sydney as well. So these are from the Mango and Lime Pure Naturals Coconut Collection and it is the leave-in conditioner and detangler and the buttercream. So Sydney really likes to use like butters. She's not really like a gel girl, a mousse girl. She prefers things like this. So, um, you know, this is for when she decides to wear her hair curly. I also wanted to give her another shampoo and conditioner set because, um, you know, those eight ounces aren't going to go too far. So these are from Garnier. Oh, this one's upside down, Chip. This is the Curl Nourish shampoo and conditioner, and there is no sulfates. I believe there might be silicone in the conditioner. Yeah, ammo dimethicone in the conditioner. I actually really wanted to try these, but I've had them in my stash for a really long time, and I haven't pulled them out, so baby sis can get the use out of them. And then I have this East of Eden butter. This is the first company that ever sent me that ever sent me like a hair product um, in exchange for like a review. So they will always have a place in my heart. But I honestly don't use butters like that. So um, y'all can see I made a pretty nice dent. It is a great product. I really like the moisture. But honestly, butters just I, I don't use them. So it doesn't make sense for me to hold on to it when I know for a fact you'll like it. Again, with a styler, Sydney likes butter. So this is the My DNA, I was born this way, hair butter. And this is definitely a lighter weight type of butter. It's more like creamy. I can't tilt it because it does move. But again, this one is eight ounces and Sydney has a lot of hair. So she'll probably fly through this as well. And then I do have two masks for her. So the first one I have here is from Rempure. And let me tell you, I wanted to try this so bad. But again, like the Garnier shampoo and conditioner, I've had this in my collection for a really long time and just haven't gotten to it. So before it goes bad, I'm going to give it to her. This is the Coconut Cream Deep Treatment Mask. And I don't know, I just think this is going to be awesome. And then the last product I have for her is from Proclaim. And this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hydrating and Reparative Mask. And when I tell you, I really, 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 really like this. Um, I used this a while, a while, a while ago before I started my channel type. And I really enjoyed this. Um, it worked out very, very well for me. As you guys can see, I got a good way through this 12 ounce. And that was when my hair was shorter. So those are the products I have for Sydney. And um, I'm going to declutter these and give these to my girl so that she can get what she needs. Hey, you guys. So I am back. And I actually um, did go to the dentist. I went to Trader Joe's and everything. But I ended up talking to my mom while I was in Trader Joe's. So I wasn't able to get things on camera. So um, I decided I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So I did get um, flowers because it's been a long time since I had bought myself some flowers. It was something I did when I got in um when i first like had my last breakup my most recent breakup chat y'all know what i mean <laughs> y'all know what i mean um so i decided to go ahead i got myself a dozen roses and then i also picked up this is sea lavender cynesis girl i don't know what that means but i think that these will just look so cute in a little vase together um and let me grab the other stuff so i could tell y'all what is new and what's not because sometimes my grocery hauls get a little repetitive even for me editing them um so i'm gonna show y'all what i got and all of that so i did go ahead and get some panera because y'all know i don't cook and do grocery shopping in the same day it's just not gonna happen so i don't know if y'all know but trader joe's has some of the best whipped cream out it is so so good it is the cabbage sweet and light whipped cream and it tastes like homemade y'all when i tell you these are so bomb 
and I didn't get two for me. One's for me, one's for my mom. I got some lemon bars. I told you guys I did get some lemon bars from Trader Joe's during the holiday season. They were like a gingerbread lemon bar. And when I tell y'all, I tore those up. So I went ahead and just got a classic box of lemon bars. And then I also got these salmon burgers. I like a cute little salmon burger every now and again. So I picked these up. Next y'all, I literally got three bags of the um, vegetable fried rice. Again, one is for my mom. The other two are for me. Mind your business. Um, these are so, so good. I actually picked these up because TikTok wouldn't shut up about them. So I've tried the vegetable. I've tried the chicken. The vegetable is just always my favorite. It's so, so good. It's filling. I can eat these. It'll be like a dinner and a lunch. So that's usually what I do with these. Or sometimes I'll make um, like other sides and stuff to go with them. Um, I know a lot of people really like the general, not the general sales, the orange chicken and the beef and broccoli. I did like the beef and broccoli, but I like my crock pot beef and broccoli and I have so much more. So I usually just make that. If you don't know, now you know, every time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm getting some juice. I like the limeade. Some people are very iffy about the limeade, but, um, I like it. And then the, the lemonade, don't play with her. Get the lemonade. Usually I'll get two of the lemonade, but I only got one today. And then I did go ahead and get some garlic naan. I've never had naan, so I wanted to try this one because everybody says it's good. And then I did just go ahead and get the seasoned waffle fries. Again, I've never tried these, and this is a very small bag. Um, but y'all know I love frozen fries. Like, I make them low-key all the time for, like, lunch and stuff. But I picked these up because TikTok has been influencing me, so, yeah. <laughs> I went ahead and got this cookie butter ice cream. It's speculose. If you haven't had cookie butter, you're not living. But I've never seen it in ice cream. So, yeah, had to get it. And then I did just get some honey. I like the honey at Trader Joe's. I'm not really picky about honey, though. But the Trader Joe's one is good. All right, y'all. Almost done. I picked up these probiotic sparkling water drinks. So, this one is tangerine. And then this one is sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar. Um, so I've never had these, but I wanted to try them. They sound good. Y'all know I'm all about like the poppies, prebiotic, sparkling waters type of thing. I like to try them. I don't always like them now. Let me be honest. I do not always like them. I also picked up a new one. This is the sparkling black tea with peach juice. And this just sounds so good. All right, y'all. Last couple things. I just picked up, um, the Trader Joe's cold brew because I do like this. I think this is really good. And, um, especially as it starts to warm up, I like, um, iced coffee. I do drink hot coffee all year round, but like I prefer iced coffee if it's cold. And then I've always heard about the Trader Joe's hash brown. So I also picked these up, but that was literally all I got. I did spend like $87, I want to say, um, which honestly, what did I get to spend $87? I don't know. Um, it's not just Trader Joe's. It's everywhere. So, um, yeah, y'all. I'm about to wipe these things off. Put them in the refrigerator and freezer and everything. And I'm going to chill. Like I said, I had a half day today. So, it is very rare that it's, you know, 3 o'clock. Just 3 o'clock. Oh, my God. Um, 3 o'clock. And I'm literally just about to finish editing my vlog for tomorrow. Um... It's actually still my first round of editing. I don't have any other plans today. I was going to see if I could meet up with one of my friends for lunch, but he was busy. So, chill. Here I am. It's just going to be me and Vibes. And, yeah, we're just going to go with it. So... Hey y'all, welcome back. Today is actually Sunday. Don't mind this little headband here. This part up here is slick in the front. So I got a little headband situation. And y'all, I think it's actually gonna turn out so cute. I did my hair today with, um, actually I have them right here cause I just finished filming not too long ago. I used the Mayel um, Mango and Tulsi Leave-In Conditioner. And then I used the Wet Line Extreme Gel. Um, it's actually my first time using the um, Mayel Leave-In so I did do a whole review, so if you're curious about it, it definitely should be up before this vlog goes up, child, because y'all know my vlogs are never on time, okay? But I'm actually, um, as you guys saw, I showed you guys my lunch. I did make the beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's, and it looks really, really good. Y'all know I usually just make my own Trader Joe's, and I make it in a crock pot. Child, I have to come back because my camera's dying, so I'll be back in a little bit after I eat my lunch. My camera charges a little bit. All right, y'all. Now I am back, and um, my hair is drying a little bit. My part is crooked, baby. And let me tell y'all, 
but girl it's not good with parts i'm trying to do a protective style in a couple months it has to be a couple months show yes because i have to pre-film for y'all i never want to leave y'all just high and dry but i want to do this little new protective style um and it should be pretty easy but child, i'm about to get somebody to help me with these parts because if i can't part it right in front of my hair girl how am i gonna see the back Hopefully y'all don't hear my dishwasher in the back because baby I'm getting ready to leave like I told y'all and um, the dishes might as well be getting cleaned if I'm not going to be here okay. But I want to come on real quick and show you guys I got a couple things I did go to the mall so I, I had to get um, a couple places I had to make a few stops I told y'all about Bath and Body Works and let me tell y'all I went in there why was the power off? I mean they had the emergency lights on so I was like um okay so I had to end up coming back but I was able to get a 20% um discount 20% off because um I had to leave and come back in order to get my stuff which it works out I live right down the street from a Bath and Body Works girl so it really don't make no never mind to me but I did have to go back um but I just went for hand soaps y'all know I like the Bath and Body Works hand soaps personally it, it feels like a bougie experience but let me tell y'all I only get them on sale these were 350 okay these were $3.50 and then I got the 20% off. So I think I paid $11 for four hand soaps. So I just wanted to pop one. Show y'all the scents because y'all know I'm a seasonal girly. So, you know. So the first one I picked up is Sweet Orange and Agave. And it is in this super, super cute, very minimal packaging. I like the texture on the bottom. I do recycle these when I'm finished with them. And I do have a refill. Bath & Body Works came out with refill sizes for... Um, certain scents so like the kitchen lemon I always have kitchen lemon in my in my kitchen because I don't know it's something about that lemony smell it just feels real clean it's giving like it's just giving real clean so I do have a refill of that one um, I also got mango papaya paradise and this one just looks like standard Bath and Body Works packaging I got this mahogany coconut again these are warmer weather scents so you know and then last but not least, I got this um, Calypso Clementine. And I actually had a reward a few weeks ago where I um, just had like so many points with Bath and Body Works that I was able to get a little hand sanitizer. Or not hand sanitizer. Yeah, it was the um, hand lotion. So, and it smells really, really good. I think it'll be a perfect springtime, warmer weather scent. And then, y'all, I did have to go to Forever 21 as well. Let me tell y'all thick girl problems okay because i love me a little leggings moment leggings sweatpants i'm that type of girl um y'all know i work from home i don't really leave the house too much so <laughs> i literally always have on leggings or sweatpants like i do right now but with that being said i'm also a thick girl okay she is a thicky missy on the bottom okay um so i always get the rips in between the thighs and child that be driving me up a wall because girl so I went to Forever 21 to go get a replacement pair of my gray ones because I wear the gray ones all the time. So I ended up finding these and these are in the like athletic collection. Um, it's called wicking fabric and it says it's for moisture management for like the girls with thigh sweat and everything. Um, and these are definitely thicker and I don't see these ripping as often. Now I will say these were like $15. Let me see. Yeah, they were $15.79. They're originally priced $20, but the whole store was 21% off. So I went ahead and got these because the little, um, the thinner ones are like seven anyway. So I was like, girl, I might as well invest in like a more stronger material. And I like that these are thick. They are high rise and I got them in a size large. I haven't tried them on. I'll have to try them on whenever I come home. Um, and then they also were having like a store wide, like, warehouse clearance sale so i was able to get this really cute t-shirt y'all know i'm a t-shirt girl i love a good t-shirt and i did get it in the size medium large this is what she looks like how cute y'all know i love me a cute little graphic tee and let me tell y'all three dollars and 79 cents three dollars and 79 cents okay i don't go to forever 21 too much anymore um because like forever 21 just be getting on my nerves sometimes it could be a real cute item and then on the back it says fries before gas like girl don't play with me don't piss me off today so um this one is really cute i think it's real cute you know i'm not a big skull person but i think the colors are very cute it says um the offspring what does it say the offspring dividing by zero yeah 
so girl i don't know what that means but i think the shirt is really cute and um i have a serious graphic t-shirt collection child i plan to do a she in haul really soon which means i'm gonna have to get a girls and the guys a little trial haul and i'm a little rusty let me tell y'all i'm a little rusty with the trial hauls i'm in a whole new place like it's been like a year since i've done a trial haul so i'm gonna have to figure out my setup and how i want you guys to see and all, all of the things so i'm definitely a little bit anxious about a girl but i'm gonna have to place my little she in order so that in a couple weeks it'll get here and i'll be able to film it she in is such fast fashion but i also do have some pieces that have lasted quite a long time from she in um but yeah y'all let me hurry up and stop running my dad on mouth as you guys can see this is the way my hair is turning out so far it's not all the way dry but it's it's getting there it's definitely getting there it's drying a lot faster than i thought um a lot faster than i thought like these bottom sections are pretty good so it may be dry by the time i get home from my aunt's house i may have to sit under the dryer for a little bit but honestly i, I gotta tell y'all i think this actually is turning out really really good so far so i don't know stay tuned for the actual review of you know the mayo mango and tulsi leave-in conditioner here i am again just running my mouth girl i'll see y'all later <laughs>